Batu Bolong story today. That board, one wave, three pieces, bro. It's like three spread, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> like samurai. <laughs> Aki will never have a problem getting work here because Changu is really, really fun and it's really, really crowded. One way with the five people are take off together. <laughs> it's heavy. I'm catching this wave and this beginner just came smashing into me and then I had to laugh because it's got to belong. I dropped in on my kids, both of them behind me, and I do a turn and they were behind me. A little drama ditch just bored in front of me, poor kid. <laughs> you can see like on average day at Batu Bolong, there's 150 people. People like to show off even though they're beginners. And if you have 1% of are gonna ding their board, Aki is doing good. <laughs> In the 90s, when we have a broken board or something, we always go to Aki for the best place you want to get surfboards. And if you ding your boards, you go there too. We have like some friend before from Australia is teaching how to fix the board like long, long time ago. So before like been buckle like a crack. <laughs> so we already fixing, we make some color again. Yeah, it looks like nothing happened, right? The board has been snapped like his part, like snapped into pieces. So we have to change the skin. I always have yeah, the best, always the best, very clean. Indonesians, you know, they're really good with hand crafting, you know. Surfboard is only like one easy line, you know. So to, you know, make a really nice uh, ding repair is, is almost like too easy. Once happened from the big Takayama, just like when from the pin plug, like come up. It's trash with the bike, like all the box here. Get come up, both of them. <laughs> the legend. He fixing board for more than 20 years. He can fix everything. <laughs> they did the best artwork on all the broken boards. You won't be able to tell, right? Yeah, same color, same yeah. color, everything. Yeah. And that's one of the reasons why they're so famous. You know, like guys like Jamie O'Brien and the Irons. They break their boards and they said, "Hey, do an artwork for me." They think their board is better than before. So that's why Aki are so, you know, super famous, yeah. I don't cry anymore over the street because I know the guys can fix this. <laughs> the best place. I go somewhere else, but they didn't do a good job. You can see it's a bit soft. So yeah, I've been asking Aki to fix it. You never see unhappy customer bringing their boards to Aki, you know? They do definitely do a good job. The paint is always amazing whenever I get anything fixed. No complaints. If I already fix it in another place, it's a little bit it's low quality. It's nice quality in here. Yeah, it's nice. That is like really important. Like big smile, you know? <laughs> They just care about their finished product, you know. They they are gonna they're gonna be honest to the, any of their customer. If they said it takes two days minimum, you cannot you know cut corners because there's hundreds of boards here. You can see like they're really really uh, dedicated to their work. Aki is just not a ding repair. It's also like a place where you get information about. A lot of things, you know, they know if the wave is good or not, where to go, how much is the board value if you want to sell it, you know, they can help you. Everyone from the local community usually comes here, so it's always seeing your friends or someone you know, an uncle, an auntie, someone like that. One thing for sure, they, uh, they one of the key element of uh, the surfing movement in Indonesia, I would say, you know, because everybody fix their board with Aki. If you want to do a repair, they do it with love. Just come over. 